if I want to get the equation for the tangent line of this going through this point, I cannot simply do a regular derivative for this because to get the slope, you need to find the derivative. I have to use this process because there's an x in the base and there's an x in the exponent. So we're going to do the natural log thing again. And what you do next is, I'm going to rewrite the ln y, but again, we're going to take this guy and bring it out front. Okay. Now we derive both sides. So we took the power, bring it out front. That's the neat thing about logs. You can take the powers, bring them out front, make it a product. So the derivative of ln y is y prime over y. This is going to be a product rule. So it's going to be 2 ln sine x plus 2x. And the derivative of ln sine x is going to be u prime over u, which is the derivative of sine is cosine over sine x. Again, the derivative of ln sine x, this is u. u prime is cosine over sine. There it is. Now, do we actually have to simplify this? No, because what are we going to do now? We are going to plug in x and y. Is that OK? Can I just go and not worry about simplifying? Just plug x and y in. So I got a y prime. And then um, over, what's y? y is 1. And it's going to be 2 sine and x is pi over 2 plus 2 times x, which is pi over 2, times cosine pi over 2 over sine pi over 2. And we get, we'll get y prime pretty quick. It's kind of cool. Oh, that's nice. Boom. The 1. Can ignore it. Um, sine pi over 2, the height at pi over 2 is 0. Plus, aren't these going to cancel? OK. The height at pi over 2 is 1. I'm an idiot. Thank you. That is 1. And uh, I'm an idiot, too. I, yeah, I did drop the ln. This is going good. See an ln right there? So let's uh, cross that out for a second. This has an ln. See right there? I forgot it. So it has an ln. So this is going to be 2 ln 1 which is zero. So I kind of got, I could have been lucky the other way too. Kind of would have worked itself out, but I messed up, but I, I kind of got lucky. Sometimes in math, we can mess up and get lucky. Not very often. Anyways, that cancels, leaving you pi. And this would be cosine pi over two is zero over one. So my answer is simply zero. OK, so my slope is 0. Does that mean my uh, line's flat? Which means, if you knew enough about that, it means my equation's actually just going to be y equals 1. If you knew enough, why is it y equals 1? Just really quick, if you did the whole thing, y minus 1 equals 0 times x minus pi over 2. If you did this process, doesn't this all become 0? And then move the 1 over? There's your answer.